Events in MMORPGs aren't exactly game-changing features. In the modern day, they really aren't even special events. They're just filler content to get players going through rescan content and quest lines to give them cool rewards to earn throughout the world based on a schedule and to keep them engaged, whether that be through hourly, daily, or weekly tasks. So when I heard that Ashes of Creation's next big stream was going to be world events, well, I was a bit disappointed. Because what are world events in comparison to new archetype reveals, caravans, castle sieges, crafting, or even more node updates? Honestly, when someone mentions Ashes of Creation, world events are probably the last thing to pop into my head as they appear to be dwarfed by the rest of the game. But then you realize Ashes of Creation is not like any other MMORPG out there. It is a game where even the smallest deeds can alter the path of the server, and that sounds to be the same for these events, just in smaller scale. In Ashes, world events are pop-up challenges that exist within open areas of wilderness or points of interest that anyone can join into. They adapt to difficulty based off player strength, and they last around 20 to 30 minutes, although they can last longer than that. And Intrepid actually has a whole article on on different types of events over on their website. When the events pop up, players will be able to accept or decline the event in a similar fashion they would a quest, and partaking in them should be a good way to get yourself some XP, items, and resources. The event types we're seeing in this week's stream are called wave events, which I assume falls under what Intrepid calls pop-up events, small-scale events that preserve the sense of danger in Vera by creating moments that will test the player's combat readiness. The more players that are active within a node zone of influence, the more chance they have at one of these events popping up. And I speculate the wave event we will be seeing will have waves of enemies or objectives that will get progressively harder as the waves go on. Not really a hard thing to guess as that tends to be how these wave events in other games work, but perhaps we will be seeing what has already been teased in the past with waves of goblins attacking a node since we now have seen nodes present in Alpha 2 as well. Overall though, it doesn't sound these events are going to do much to stand out from any other MMO. These guys are basically the dynamic events in Guild Wars 2, perhaps with some smaller scale story arc systems being thrown into them, but we do know there will be a little bit of a twist in there at least. At least there was when they were talked about a couple years ago. What will make these events stand out a bit more from the crowd is that some of these events will incorporate random story driven interruptions to the normal flow of the world, such as blocking roadways, having a random boss or mob spawn unexpectedly in a zone, or perhaps even a larger consequence tied into them, such as a climate changing, plagues, volcanic eruptions, forest fires, or maybe even a dragon attacking a node. It has been said in the past that there could be events where perhaps a dragon shows up bringing an eternal winter to a zone until defeated. Whether Intrepid was referencing to a story arc or an event in this case, well that is unknown at the time, but the lines does seem to be blurring between the two a little bit. But even with that stuff, I still feel like that isn't enough to set them apart from any other game. I personally only ever jump into world events in two different scenarios. The first being I am leveling and it just happens to pop up randomly as I'm questing, and the second being there just isn't anything else to do in that moment, whether you're waiting for a raid to reset or crafting cooldowns, you just go out there and do the event to keep yourself busy, even though in most cases the reward you get is far from end game gear. And that is what I believe Ashes of Creation needs to do different. World events shouldn't feel like a chore in a video game, or some lazy hash together mechanic based off existing resources to apply filler content to make it look like there's more content than there actually is. They should feel impactful, unique, and offer some pretty cool rewards no matter what level you are when taking them on. And these events need to have enough variety that you never know which event is going to pop up in the world next. Because why should you go out of your way to fight that dragon that has spawned for the hundredth time just to get a sword that you're going to dump into storage or sell to vendors? You wouldn't, because at a a certain point, most of the time world events become useless unless you're using them to gear up alts. And perhaps they should be designed instead to be for all players to interact with no matter what stage and progression you're at. What are you guys hoping to see from the event showcase this month? Drop a comment down below and make sure to click that subscribe button and hit that thumbs up if you're enjoying this content so you never miss another Ashes of Creation update. If you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can then jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just hang out until you can finally step foot into the world of Vera. Otherwise, be sure to stay tuned for a lot more Ashes content to come.